Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to the first Z Code system video of the new NCAA college football year. We're glad to be back for another great season of college football, NCAA football. And I know you're going to be watching this and getting ready for a big weekend of kickoff, uh, of action kicking off, uh, that is to say. And the NCAA football season begins this weekend. And I'm coming to you on September the 2nd. And we're going to be looking at some games coming to you on the 4th and the 5th, which is Saturday and Sunday. Some big games going on. Um, this year, because the NFL has not started just yet, there's going to be some games on Sunday, which is going to be a lot of fun for everyone who loves NCAA college football. And I'm sure you love NCAA college football because you're watching this video right now or possibly reading the blog up at zcosystem.com. It's not there right now, but once uh, once this video goes live, that blog will be up so you can check out anything that we've written there about these games that we're going to talk about in our picks. And of course, if we don't talk about the game that you are most interested in getting the pick uh, for, you can always sign up to zcodesystem.com and get all of the tools and all of the picks each week for the, in, uh, for the NCAA college football season for the team that you follow or the team that you bet on. Perhaps you have a team or a set of teams that you regularly wager on. Well, you can follow those teams. If we don't give you those picks uh, via the videos or the blog, you can go over to the website and you can get those picks from the experts there, as well as use the tools that we have on Z Code system that help you make educated sports investments. So guys, thanks again for watching. And as you can see there, our most recent blog there was on the Major League Baseball picks for August 29th. And uh, when the Yankees and the A's went at it, we've got lots of stuff over at the blog. We've been taking a little bit of a break. Uh, I've been on holiday uh, over the last week or so. So I'm just now getting back into the groove, back on Z Code system and back here on YouTube posting videos. And uh, if you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on everything we do here on Z Code System. And it's always great if you comment below and let us know what you think of what's going on with the videos that we post, as well as let us know what teams you're betting on and any teams that you're interested in maybe being covered in the next video. So we'll be coming with a few videos over the course of the NF, uh, excuse me, I keep saying NFL, the NCAA football season. Uh, to give you uh, great picks and uh, insight into those games. And also we'll be coming to you, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, a very early video for picks for the first week of NFL season. Uh, I'll be bringing you that with a few choice cut games, uh, just like I've done here for the NCAA. And uh, we're going to be talking about, like I said, a few choice cut games. Uh, now, before we get over to looking at the picks, for these games and talking about those, um, I just want to take a quick look at the current rankings for college football. Now, as you can see there, we have ESPN, just brought that up. Uh, ESPN is such an easy website to use. Uh, we've got the AP poll and the coaches poll right there. And uh, just scrolling down so we can get those top 22 teams in. Uh, Alabama leading the way in both polls. A uh, little bit of disagreement uh, as we go on. But uh, you know what? I prefer that AP poll. Uh, and that's what we're looking at there with Alabama on top, Oklahoma, Clemson, Ohio State and Georgia rounding out the top four, uh, excuse me, top five. And um, some big games featuring those teams this week. We're going to talk about uh, at least one of those teams right now, Alabama. We're going to talk about their game with Miami, which is going to be coming up. Miami ranked number 14. We're going to talk about that game. We're also going to talk about Penn State taking on Wisconsin. That's a number 12 versus number 19 clash. Big game there in the first week of action in the Big Ten. And then we're going to also talk about uh, a game between Notre Dame and Florida State. Notre Dame ranked number nine and uh, taking on an unranked Florida State, uh, unranked currently uh, going to this. And I can remember back, I can't believe this is dating me, uh, aging me. Uh, I was just having a, a bit of a, a Google search on things earlier as I was writing the blog and uh, thinking back to that classic game from 1993 between Notre Dame and uh, Florida State played in South Bend. Was it Charlie Ward? Was that the quarterback? I'm sure, off the top of my head trying to think of uh, the quarterback from uh, Florida State uh, playing um, at that time. And I believe he went on to play for the New York Knicks uh, rather than playing in the NFL. If that's the 
uh, the player in the name that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. But uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that that was 1993. I'm thinking back to that when I, I saw that entry on uh, Wikipedia um, earlier today. So um, I digress. Let's look now at the picks for those games, those three games I just mentioned coming up on Saturday and Sunday, the 4th and 5th of September. Okay, so if you're familiar with Z-Code system, you know that this is the VIP club and uh, the VIP page where you've got several sports, a number of sports, a variety of sports there to choose from uh, when you are wanting to make your sports bets and wagers and investments. And you can also, uh, on this page, you can post comments and read the comments of others who are betting on the different games and the different sports. Lots of sports here, baseball, NFL football, WNBA, Okay, you can see everything there. KHL if you're into hockey, esports, um, AFL if you like Aussie Rules football, and UFC, which we have covered here on our videos uh, previously. Um, but again, we're talking about NCAA college football, and we are talking about September the 4th, and uh, that is going to bring us to our first game. And that first game I'm going to look at is Penn State. And Wisconsin, Big Ten game going at you, coming at you, I should say. Uh, and this is a big game because not only is it week one, but this is a game between two big rivals and one that should be really fun to watch, um, especially if you're into the Big Ten smash mouth football. Uh, I remember, um, you know, growing up, it was always uh, West Con oh, excuse me, always Big Ten football being that smash mouth type of football, uh, lots of uh, running, lots of just big, uh, big guys going at it. So that's what we've got here um, between these two teams, uh, if those cliches still hold up, I suppose. Um, but as you can see there, we've got um, a score prediction of Wisconsin winning this 39-9 to with a 78% confidence in prediction. Now, Wisconsin are the higher-ranked team going into this and the favorites to win at minus 241. And uh, we can see that they are burning hot, but Penn State is too. The Nittany Lions are uh, doing well right there. Um, but we've also got our over here, if you look at this, we've got our totals over and under uh, going on into this game uh, with a total of uh, over 50. And so we could see that uh, in this game uh, between these two. Uh, so we've got that. Uh, let's look at our head-to-head -head before I give you my pick in this game. Uh, and as you can see there, Penn State have actually won the last three games between these two teams. But these two teams have not met since 2018. Uh, and games have been few and far between. And uh, we're seeing a little bit of a different Penn State. Now, um, I'm backing Wisconsin to win this game. Uh, I like Wisconsin. I've uh, always enjoyed... Um, the uh, the Badgers there, and uh, I think they're going to take this at home, especially playing at home uh, in front of a home crowd. And uh, as you can see there, we've got a hot trend of 67% winning rate when predicting the last six Wisconsin games, and uh, they are a hot team. This is a good opportunity for a system play if you are into the system play here on Z Code System. Sign up and read up and uh, find out more about that. Uh, when you do. Uh, but I'm going Wisconsin on this game. Uh, I think they're going to pick up a win. Now, will this be a little bit of a closer game? Could be uh, a little bit closer. Again, two rivals going at it. Uh, but Penn State do have a new offensive coordinator and some new things going on there. And uh, that could limit them on the offensive side of the ball against Wisconsin in this game. So again, like I said, I'm going Wisconsin in this game to win. Now let's take a look at another game, the other game going on here that I wanted to profile. Now, again, look at all these big games going on this weekend. We've got Louisiana State and UCLA. We've got Georgia and Clemson. That's a massive game, and uh, that's a top five game, uh, number three versus number five. Uh, and we also have, uh, you know, I guess you could say Stanford, Kansas State, and Louisville and Mississippi. So all of these games really coming fast and furious in the first week of the NCAA season uh, and games that are going to be a lot of fun to wager on and a lot of fun to watch if you're neutral. Uh, but I'm going to look at this uh, Alabama versus Miami game. Alabama is the number one ranked team in the country. And a lot of times, you know, you might think that uh, Alabama cannot be beaten. Um, I know that there are a lot of Bama fans out there that, uh, that think that the, this is an invincible team. And for the most part, over the last decade, really, um, Alabama have been the team to beat. Uh, burning red hot as they go into this game. And uh, you can see the odds there. Uh, Alabama are favorites to pick up a victory. Miami underdogs. Now, this game is going to be played in Atlanta in a neutral stadium. And uh, this is at the Mercedes-Benz Arena, which is home to the Atlanta Falcons. Um, and uh, Bama have done very well playing there uh, in the past. 
Um, now we've got some hot trends. 100% winning rate predicting last six Alabama games. Alabama have won 100% in favorite status in the last five games. Alabama have won the last 14 games. And Miami have covered the spread 80% in the last five games as underdogs. So we have that going for us uh, as we go into this game. Um, now, Alabama is a very hot team, and I don't see why you would be wagering against them unless you are a hardcore Miami fan. And even if you are a Hurricane, then you should probably be going ahead and betting on Alabama to win this game. Uh, like I said, neutral venue, uh, and uh, I think uh, you know, even uh, playing on a neutral venue, you can't look past Alabama to win this game. Uh, we've got a total of over under at 61 and uh, going into this game. And we have the score prediction of Alabama picking up a victory 54 to 13. Now, looking at the head to head for these two teams oops, uh, over the last couple of years, let's see, let's just look at that again and click on that. And uh, actually, these teams have met recently. Uh, just let the page reload real quickly um, before we get on to that. But uh, Alabama have done very well in uh, recent history against Miami. Um, one of the things I wrote about in the blog was that these teams obviously met, and for some reason that's not coming up, uh, but uh, these teams met in 1993 in the National Championship game, and uh, that was a, uh, a big win for Alabama uh, in that game. Um, Sherman Williams, I believe, was the name of the running back there for Alabama. If my history in college football knowledge um, uh, is any good, um, just let me check on that. Uh, 1993 Sugar Bowl, and that was definitely the Crimson Tide and Miami. Yes, with the Tide winning 34 to 13. So uh, we go back to that and uh, that game um, back, geez, almost 30 years ago. Again, dating me uh, by age. But again, I'm going Alabama on this game because really I can't see anything past Alabama winning this. Uh, and I actually think that this could see over 61 points. This is going to be a high scoring game. And uh, yeah, I don't see Alabama not leaving Atlanta without the victory uh, against Miami. All right, so that's going to bring us to our last game of the weekend that we're going to preview. And that is scrolling down Notre Dame and Florida State, which I mentioned earlier. Notre Dame against an unranked Florida State. And um, you can see right there, Notre Dame are favorites to pick up the win. Uh, Florida State are ice cold. And uh, we have a score prediction of Notre Dame 42, Florida State 31. That might be a little bit generous there for Florida State, uh, picking up 31 points against Notre Dame. And we'll see. There we go. We're working now. Uh, we've got Notre Dame winning the last two games between these two teams. Uh, they played last year, 2020, with Notre Dame winning 42-26. And two years prior to that, in 2018, Notre Dame picked up a 42-13 win. Uh, but did, we did see earlier in the decade, nearly 12 years ago, we saw Florida State picking up back-to-back -back wins. But um, I can't see them picking up a win here. So my prediction is a Notre Dame victory. Now, this game is going to be played in Tallahassee, so that could slightly favor um, Florida State. Now, obviously not in odds, but it could give them that uh, bit of motivation there and, uh, you know, that, uh, that, that, <laughs> that, that feeling of wanting to do well um, early in the game. But uh, I think Notre Dame are going to take this. Uh, it would be a massive upset uh, if Notre Dame, who are number nine in the country, get defeated on opening day. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm going with the favorite in each of these games to pick up a victory this weekend in NCAA college football. Okay, so those are my picks for this weekend going into the first week of NCAA college football. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, who are you backing? Are you backing these teams? Uh, is there another game that you're interested in maybe that uh, we could give a late uh, look at later on in the week, uh, or perhaps uh, you've got a game for next week that you want to have us to have a look at here on the YouTube video. Uh, just let us know and uh, we'll get that for you. Uh, but if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe as well so you can stay up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. Read the blogs, watch the videos. We've got so much content up and we're putting up more each and every day. And uh, shortly, I should have the NFL week one video up as well and um, that should be coming to you in the next day or so as we get ready for the NFL to kick off we're gonna get that to you very early to um, to cash in on what should be a great weekend of NFL action so guys enjoy the NCAA football this weekend good luck with your bets and your investments I hope you come out winners uh, I hope I come out a winner uh, as we go into week one and we'll see you soon guys here on Z code system good luck and we'll see you later